Hi, my name is Thomas Bonte and I'm one of the developers of MuseCore. Today I would like to demonstrate to you an interesting development that has been happening on MuseCore uh, for the past year. Last year we were approached by RNIB, an organization from London helping blind and partially sighted musicians. At RNIB they created something which is called modified safe notation. It's basically a set of rules that you can apply to sheet music to make it more readable for partially sighted musicians. You can learn all about these rules by reading through their website, but for this demo I'm going to show you how we apply these rules or how these rules can be applied into MuseCore. So what you see here is a development snapshot of the future MuseCore version 2.0. You can download this development snapshot yourself on, from MuseCore.org. And to get started, what we see here is basically a piece of paper. And if we would print this, the first thing that we, you would notice is that it's way too small for visually impaired musicians. So what we want to change the overall font size um, of, of the score. For doing that, we go to Layout, Page Settings. And we have here a scaling factor which is basically called space, and space is the distance between two staff lines. So we can bring this up, and while we do that, at the right we see the preview changing. If we apply this, then we see now that we have a page where those two lines are now nicely spread over the full page. So that's already much better. However, there are still some issues here. Often Things like staff lines are way too thin for vision impaired musicians to see. Uh, ledger lines are often an issue as well, as well as these small dots here. And then if you scroll down, you see also see the slurs uh, and those beams that are colliding with staff lines. So these are all things that we want to change in terms of thickness or size. So let's get started with the staff lines. In order to do that, we go in the menu to Style General. And staff lines are a property of measure. So down here, staff line thickness, we can make that a bit bigger. Let's make it 0.25 space, spatium, which is the distance between two staff lines. And there we go. That's already much better. Now let's continue with the ledger lines as well as the notes. The dots, I mean. Ledger lines we can find under the notes section over here. So let's bring that up a bit. And we apply, and we see it's already much bigger. The dot size currently is at 100%. Let's make that 140. Boom. There you go. That's already much better. Let's go down and tackle, oops, sorry about that. Let's go and tackle these slurs. Again, style, general. Uh, we go to the slurs here. And what we can do is we can change the thickness at the beginning as well as at the end. So let's bring that up. Sorry, the thickness at the beginning and in the middle. So the beginning or the end is the same. So when we apply this, we see it's already much, much better. Now, one thing that we see here are the beams that are colliding with these staff lines. So let's make sure that it's not happening. And we can do so by checking this checkbox, flatten all beams. Apply. There you go, much better. Now, we don't want to do this over and over again for each, one, each single score. So in this case, we'd love to save the style. And we save it. And next time that we open a new score, we simply apply the style. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to close the score, uh, open it again. There we go. And now I'm going to apply the score that we just, uh, the style that we just saved. Load style. There you go. 
you simply apply the style and all the settings are applied and now the score is ready for printing so this was made with the future MuseScore 2.0 currently we don't have any beta release out yet however you can test this development version by going to the download page scrolling down to nightly versions over there we have builds for Windows, Mac and Linux and you can download one of these builds test out modified safe notation features yourself and in case you would uh, bump into a problem you go to the musical forums uh, and choose this one here, Technology Preview Forum, where all the MuseScore contributors are reading along and are, uh, are there to help you uh, with any problem. And in case you really found a bug, then they'll help you to file a bug in our issue tracker. And eventually uh, things can get fixed and ready for the future MuseScore to do. So I would like to thank uh, RNIB for helping us. Uh, to make modified state notation happen in MuseScore and I hope that it, this is useful for you and eventually all um, visually impaired musicians.